Good morning, my diamonds, my TikTokers, my Teletubbies. What, you know, there's this uh, guy here on um, TikTok, and he's saying the reason why a lot of women who still want relationships are not finding these relationships, and he's supposedly sharing the secret with women in terms of what women are doing wrong, whatever, child. Personally, I feel that if you have to become this docile, weak, and you have to become this um, damsel in distress just to make a man feel like a man. I mean, who really wants to be bothered with all of that? But he says that a lot of women are becoming too brody. He'll break it down for you in terms of what brody means. I was genuinely shocked to see how many women don't understand this about men. <laughs> Fellas, don't hate me for this, but Ladies, I'm going to give you three tips on to get whatever you want out of a man. This may be the relationship advice that you've been looking for. But before we get into it, make sure that you hit that follow button. I post content like this every single day. Any information you're getting from me, you can implement today, right now. And I promise it'll make a difference. But I may say some stuff y'all might not like, but just try to stick it through. Make sure that you stay to the end because I'm giving you some real gems that normally people will have to pay for. I don't think so. All right. Men are not complicated, but I can see how it'll go over a lot of women's heads because of the society we are in today. First things first, ladies, you have to stop acting so fucking brody. And what do I mean when I say acting on brody? You know, the I don't need you. I don't need your help. I don't need no man. I don't Stop. Shit is not attractive. I'm telling you now, the men that you want are not looking at that like, oh, that's my kind of woman. That is the equivalence of a man saying, could you open the door for me? Could you, could you, could you grab my purse? Oh my God, I need you to help me with these bills. Oh my God. Do, do you see what I'm saying? It's same thing, just on the opposite side. But there's a psychological reason to that. And this is what I'm here to tell you. So when you act brody, masculine, when you act that way, subconsciously, it does something to a man. That does not mean the man wouldn't have sex with you. It does not mean that. A man will still have sex with you. Most women want something man, more than just sex. How many men have sex with damn near anything? And when you're talking about saying that I don't need you, I don't understand why people keep using that word need. Stop doing that. Tell me something. Do you need air? You do, right? Why? Because without it, you die. Do you need water? Do you need food? Do you need God and Christ? Without them, you can forget about eternal life or what have you. Do you need shelter? Because you can't be out there in the elements because that will lead to your death. So I think they need to focus more on saying the word want. Nobody needs, we need God and Christ, honey. Jesus Christ is my protector, my Lord, my savior, my teacher, my provider. He does it all. So if this is what men are finding to be so upsetting because women are saying, I don't need you. Like, let's say I have four packages and they're heavy. Do I need a man to help me? Not necessarily because I could get other women who can help me. I have a shopping cart. I could put it in and, you know, they have machinery now that can help women lift certain things. Why don't you focus more on want to having women want you? Even though I'm a, I'm a firm believer that, look, I, I, I prefer people need me because they treat you better. They just do. And when it comes to want, I mean, if I had my way, I would, everybody would want, I want to be wanted first, needed second. That would be great, great. But that want thing, let me tell you about that want. It don't last long. They want you this week, but then they don't want you next week. If they need you, like I know someone who's living with her mom. They have a great relationship and everything, but she wanted to branch out on her own, but she can't because she need her mother. She has fibromyalgia. And then I know other people who have health issues and they need the person. And because they need the person, they're treating that person the way human beings are supposed to treat each other. Whereas when you have people who may want you, that's too fickle. It doesn't last. 
Go ahead, sir. Thanks. So if you want something more than just sex, you have to give him more than just attraction. Because the attraction, all he needs to see is the physical. It doesn't matter if you're acting brody or not. He'll still have sex with you. But if you want to get down into here with him, have you ever been at the stoplight or you're going into a store and you see like this old woman and she's limping and she's, you know, she's, she's elderly. What's the first thing most people would do? First thing we'll want to do is help her out. Boom. We'll help her out. That doesn't mean she couldn't do it by herself before. That doesn't mean none of that. She didn't even ask for anybody's help. But subconsciously, you want to help. But she was able to garner that attention from you. You see where I'm going? And now on another day, you'll see another older woman. And she's extremely rude. She's mean or whatever the case is. She doesn't want anybody to touch her. She's cussing everybody out and all of that. It's like, that doesn't mean you're scared of her or you wouldn't wave at her or you would treat her wrong. But subconsciously, you, you won't have that deep down inside of saying, I would like to help her. You see what I'm saying? It's no. not cute. Stop acting so fucking brody. It, if that's what you want out of him, Let's you have out. to show that side. Chat, chat. God, he's getting on my nerve and it's way too early in the morning. I can imagine having to live with someone like him. He'd make me sick to my stomach. So I have to walk around, like I said, looking like a damsel in distress and, and looking like all broken down. But I get what he's saying. You know, you have a lot of women who are saying, you know, I don't really need a man. The thing is, look, the areas that we need you, need, need, for real, for real. Because it's like a life or death thing. It's keep me built up spiritually. Because that's going to help lead me to everlasting life. What do we need? I need you to take the spiritual lead. That's what I need. You know, going to Christian meetings. Having our Bible studies every week. We eat physical food every day. I need spiritual food every day. That's what I need. See, because my life, life depends on that. Everything that women need, they don't want to do. Bible studies with your children. Build people spiritual, build them up spiritually. Because if they're spiritually built, and if they're on Jesus Christ's team, everything else falls into place. Everything else is going to fall into place. Go ahead. Of you. Oh, God. Not just your physical self. You have to show that side of you. I'm telling you, this works. Number two. Sorry, this is so good. Show your appreciation. Have you ever done something for someone and they're like, oh my God, I do. Thank you so much. Like they start tearing up. You deep down inside, you feel good about helping. That's the thing. They start tearing up. Now, in order for me to make you feel appreciated, I got to cry now. No. Isn't it good enough to say, wow, thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. A lot of people, that's not good enough. They want you to, 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 I don't know, fall down, bow down. Oh, thank you. Oh, my God. Such praise. Thank you. It's, it should suffice. Saying thank you, I really appreciate it. And a lot of the times, what I would do, I'm sorry, let's wait up here, here. What I would do is I would get like a card. And, you know, you go to the Dollar Tree or Dollar Store. And you get like a nice little gift, like a bank. He can save all his quarters. And it's a practical. I'm a Capricorn. And I do things that are that's going to be useful. Hold on a moment. Yeah, or I will make you your one of your favorite dinners. Or I'll get a card. But, like, if someone opens the door, <clears throat> you say thank you. A lot of the times they want you to bend over back with saying thank you. Because they're doing things that they should be doing anyway. Things that women do each and every day, like cooking and cleaning and organizing. Well, how often do the man show appreciation and say thank you and, and tear all up where he's so happy? Some people, they just need too damn much. A person. But then have you ever helped somebody out and they're like, appreciate it. Cool. Thanks. Or they don't say anything. Deep down the side, you're going to say I'll never help you out again. The appreciation, just that gesture alone of someone helping you, but you show your gratitude, that alone is just, that'll change somebody's mind. That's simple. All you gotta do is say thank you. Say thank you.
when a man is constant. I was genuinely shocked to see how many women don't understand physical. It doesn't matter if you're acting brody or not. Better or you're treated wrong. But Hold on, guys. And they're like, oh my God. I Yeah, oh my God. I appreciate it so much. Oh, my tears are falling. Oh, child, please give it a rest. Um... I wanted to say something. I, 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 I it, it, it just, man, just annoyed me. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, okay. Like, they start tearing up. Tearing you deep up. down inside, you feel good about helping that person. But then, have you ever helped somebody out and they're like, appreciate it. Cool. Thanks. Or they don't say anything. Deep down inside, you're going to say, oh, I'll never help you out again. The appreciation, just that gesture alone of someone helping you, but you show your gratitude. That alone is just, that'll change somebody's mind. That's simple. All you gotta do is say thank you. Say thank you. We appreciate it. Show him that you appreciate what, you, what he's done for you. Anytime you do this, you show your appreciation. That part. Is oh, I know what I wanted to say. A lot of the men, they want more than just a simple thank you. I really appreciate that so much. No, no. Now they think it's all about getting ahead. They got to add some sex to it. Like, you know, I did something for you. Now what you going to do for me? Because, you know, I'm not going to help you if you ain't going to look out for me. Why should I look out for you? All that nonsense. No. Thank you is good enough. I really, really appreciate that. And if I see the person on a regular basis, like I said, I could get you like a nice thank you card with my own personal writings in it to show how grateful I am. And, and, and I really did appreciate it. But for a lot of these men, that's not enough, honey. It's not enough. It's super attractive to a man. I'm telling you. Watermelon good. Whatever. <laughs> All right, so this last one, this last <laughs> one's deep. All right. You have to make sure that you stroke his ego. I'm talking compliments. Not like all the time. I'm not saying be obsessive with it. Some things that women don't understand, which there, it's no shade. I, I, I get that you don't understand this because you don't live the life of a man. You're, you're not a man. All right. Most men don't have to be a man, honey. I don't have to be you, but I know of you. I have five brothers. I know a man. And how do you go about stroking a man's ego? I did the research on it. Let me tell you how you stroke his ego. I did the research. You know how I do. Okay. Let's talk about men's egos. Okay, men's ego. Genuine praise. That means that you have to offer sincere, specific, authentic compliments. How often do we compliment? Wow, your hair looks really nice today. Uh, did you lose weight? Um, are you shaved? That, that's a good look on you. I like those shoes. Yeah, you give them compliments. Okay, active listening. Okay, you show interest in what he's speaking. I always take interest in what someone's saying. Because I'm interested in people. I'm an advice coach, for God's sake. Acknowledge and respect his feelings and his opinions. Validation, in other words. Of course, I respect your feelings because I want people to respect mine. And yes, I will uh, 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 acknowledge, I mean, uh, appreciate your opinion. I don't get angry at people if they have a different viewpoint. I welcome it. That's fine. Okay, support. Be his biggest cheerleader and celebrate his successes. Okay, have some successes. We get a cake. We get the balloons, a card. What's your favorite dinner? Let me, I got some tickets to the game. Respect his boundaries. Okay, honey, I have boundaries. And, and his autonomy, that means his, um, his need for space. <laughs> I'm the girl who would be glad to give you space. No problem. Surprise him with small uh, gestures like a small surprise can go a long way in making him feel special. Uh, once again, what did I just say? You get these little cards, it don't have to be anything expensive. If he likes sports, get some tickets. Take him to his favorite restaurant, uh, or you see a shirt, or just be thoughtful. Many times I've been walking around and I see some nice clothes that I used to say about my husband, but he didn't appreciate it, he was just a jerk. But then I said, I got my son and I got my brother and I think of them and I said, I could get that for my son. I could get that for my brother because I love them. And it's just for no reason. It's just for out of the blue. Make him feel needed. Show him that you value his help and his support. That's how we stroke his ego. 
Of course, I'm going to show you that I appreciate your help. Don't most women? It says, remember the key is to be genuine and authentic. Men can often tell when someone is being insincere or trying to manipulate them. Also keep in mind that not all men are the same. And what works for one person may not work for another. So you have to learn his love language. That's all. It's either words of affirmation, quality time, gifts, acts of service, or touching. Some people, their, their, their love language is touch. I stay away from people like that. Your, your love language is touch. I, I will do it. I'll go through it and all that. But that's not my thing. I will have to work on that one. But I'll do it because that's his love language. Well, that's how you stroke their ego. Go ahead, sir. Don't get attention. Oh, Most men don't get compliments. Most men are ignored. Most. Just a simple like, babe, you look nice. Babe, you smell really good. You know, I like when you wear that. Now, be genuine about it. However, just make sure that you acknowledge it. Make it loud. Let him know that you appreciate him. Stroke his ego. Stop acting so fucking brody. I'm telling you. These little things right here will change the way your relationship moves. I swear to God. Ladies, don't you like when you get compliments? When a man tells you, you're beautiful today. You smell good. You look good. I like the way your hair's done. Uh, Absolutely. I, I, have, I agree with that because there's times when I see a man on the street. When I see a man dressed in a nice suit or if a man smells really good, I will compliment the man. And, and it's not trying to be flirtatious. No, nothing flirtatious. No, but I have to tell you. You look really nice today, really. And I do compliment men. And the way I compliment, you can tell it's just sincere and it's not me trying to pick up a dude. No, no, no. I keep my wedding ring on, honey, really. But I had some people, men do look well put together, face nice. I don't like beards and all of this nonsense. I, that kind of hair, that, uh, no. You look like you belong in the jungle somewhere and you look unkept. No. But anyway, I see where he's going with the compliments and stroke his ego like a lion's mane. You know, um, I think a lot of women already do that. Let me see some of the comments here. The comment says, I agree, but both New York City and the men here, they made me, I had to be brody, tough, masculine, and independent. Okay, and then another woman says, get off the roller coaster, men. Men, what they really need is to heal. They need to heal themselves from their traumas so that they can have a better relationship first with themselves. Good point. I agree with that. Okay, let me see. Another woman says, if you have to play weak, docile, and incapable, I'd rather be alone. Men take advantage and they aren't loyal. So one woman says, I did all of that, but unfortunately, some men just don't want to open their heart and accept all of that. And that's painful for a loving woman. And it becomes a turn off after a while. Now, when you give too many compliments also, it starts, it starts to sound insincere. So you, like I say, how often do you put gas in your car? Once a week, right? So if his love language is words of affirmation, then once a week, you could give him, either say it to him, send him a text of words of affirmation, uh, 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 cards, or even a letter, and give him an envelope and say, honey, you got something mail here, and then you open it up, and it's a letter from you. How cute is that? Nice. Or if their love language is touch, I'm not going to say you touch him once a week, <laughs> but you know where I'm going with it. You can't overdo things because then it becomes not special anymore. It's just overly done. Like my love language when it comes to a man is gifts and acts of service. Do something for me nice once a month. I'm good with the once a month thing. That works. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, what he's saying is he has some excellent points. But you have a lot of women who, do, who have done all of that and continue to do all of that. And it still doesn't work. So I say good luck. I just wanted to share this with you briefly this morning before I head out to the office. I love you, and I want you to have an amazing day. It's Monday.